Good day everybody. Doing something a little different today. We're going to restore a pair of New Victor desks. Um, these are a uh, number 5 and a number 6. Oddly enough, the number 5 is taller than the number 6. I don't know why. Um, these were patented around 1907 or so uh, from what I could find online. Um, these got a lot of use and abuse on them. Um, they were discovered in an old barn in a straw pile, actually. Um, these things have a lot of use and abuse. Um, we're going to clean them up, we're going to de-rust them, we're going to refinish them, and we're going to put them back together, and they'll be beautiful. I'm going to keep the talking down to little bit of a minimum and just let you enjoy the uh, steps of me going through taking it apart. All right, you can see right here we got a little bit of glue repair to do too. I dropped the ball bearings. I didn't know there were any in it till I took it apart and they hit the floor. Alright, there's supposed to be two screws here, but 
that one is completely missing. Who knows where it went? And there is one in there. So these were a bit of a challenge to get out. Um, hard to get my hand in there. I really needed a longer screwdriver for this, but we'll work with what you got. So frustrating trying to keep it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now you see these were uh, restored once before, but they never took them apart to do it. So things were painted together that shouldn't have been painted together. That's why I had to use the uh, mallet and a piece of wood to get them apart. We're going to fix that. I'm going to do it. Sorry about the sound of the dog in the background. I start recording and of course Molly's got to get up and make noise. She's been passed out in the recliner all day. There's a pretty large piece of tear out here. I wasn't sure if I was going to fix it or not, or leave it. I ended up leaving it, but I was just pointing it out. A hundred years of who knows what. All right, this piece is pretty cool. This is where the kids would have rested their feet. Probably got yelled at in class and smacked with the ruler to stop doing it. But they wore the edge nice and smooth and rounded. You can never do that with a tool. Just thought that was neat.
someone stuck these wooden pieces under there. They're not period correct. Uh, look like almost pallet wood. Um, period correct would have much tighter grain. They would be much more dense. These are really lightweight and just crappy, so I got rid of them. Here's everything laid out after disassembly. I thought it was neat just to lay the parts out so you can see. Two of these things don't belong. Alright, time for sanding. This is everything I used. Um, sanded them up to 320 grit. Uh, 320 grit was done by hand to uh, eliminate any swirl marks from the uh, palm sander. Uh, this is what they look like before I sand them. And that's what it'll look like when I'm done. Now I gotta do that with all of the pieces on two separate uh, desks. And of course, ear protection and dust collection. And now we're going to put the varnish on them. Uh, I used uh, Rust-Oleum Traditional Cherry. I thought that looked the best. Matched what I remember seeing in school. and It just looked right to me with the black. And I took everything outside, laid it all out, and sprayed everything with uh, Minwax Polyurethane Semi-Gloss. Everything got four coats of this, just like this, every about 15-20 minutes. And here's, after I've got all of the coats of poly on them, I got a nice sheen to them. Again, this is satin, or semi-gloss. Didn't want too shiny. And right here, this stinking bug. Yep. Alright, now we're going to put everything uh, through the uh, evapor rust, all the metal parts. I'm going to use regular evapor rust on everything I can fit in the little tins here. Or food dishes. Um, make sure it's on there real good. Brush it around a little bit. And then for the uh, bigger pieces, I'm going to use evapor rust gel. Uh, worked real well. Real thick and gooey. Um, probably if it had been warmer out, it would have been easier to spread. But you just got to make sure you get it on every little nook and cranny and just take your time. Like I said, I had four of these to do. So, actually, one of the more time consuming parts was putting the evapor rust on. Alright, after the Evaporus has had time to work, I gave it about two hours. Took it inside, I got a big slop sink in the uh, utility room, so I went and washed them all off with soapy water. 
and then I'm taking my uh, drill with a wire brush to them. Give them a once over with the uh, wire brush. I had uh, hearing protection and eye protection on because that was loud and annoying. And here we go, Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. Um, simple, easy to get anywhere. That way if someone needs to touch it up, all they got to do is spray a little bit in a, into a cup and use a brush and just touch up any spots that get marked or nicked. And again, you can find it anywhere that way it'll match. And sprayed both sides. Only did only had to do one coat on these. Here they are, all the pieces laid out after they've been uh, refinished and cleaned up. And, of course, I had to put my logo in it somewhere. It's on the underside. Uh, it's hard to see out of the way. But I want people to know it's me. Just adjusting everything, making sure everything's just right. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. That was a satisfying click. There's actually a relatively specific order in the way I had to put these together because the way everything's uh, dovetailed into the uh, cast iron legs. You can just put a piece on and then hope you can get the next one on. And, uh, 
like I said, do it in a very specific order. These screws are even harder to put back in than they were to take out and to get on camera to keep my fat hands out of the way. I had to use a clamp on this one corner to get it down enough to catch inside the uh, groove. As soon as it caught in, then I could pull the clamp, clamp off and uh, give it a little persuasion. There we go. It works. Alright, for the feet, I wanted to put something on it so it's not metal on whatever floor they go on. So I had some uh, cork, some eighth inch cork board. So I decided to cut and trim a piece of that for each foot and then just attach it with CA glue. That way it can be pulled off later if somebody wants to do something different. That's why they won't slide around or mark up any hardwood floors they go on or tile or anything like that.
Here they are, all done. They look like brand new. I'm uh, very happy with them. Still a few marks from uh, the kids from years and years ago. You know, I didn't get all of the marks out. They're not absolutely perfect like brand new. Didn't want to do that. But I think they came out wonderfully. Um, and so you could use them as end tables next to your couch. Uh, anything with them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. That's the uh, Reclaimed in GD Reclaimed. I, uh, I enjoy doing that from time to time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, share, subscribe, all that happy stuff. And uh, everybody have a wonderful day.